DNA candidate for Mangrove Key in South Andrus, Wade Forbes Ferguson, and candidate for North Andrus in the Barry Islands, Randy Butler, say Androsians have had no real opportunities realized by successive governments. They say neglect of physical infrastructure, whether airports, harbors, roads, administrative buildings, lack of technology, or insufficient teachers all represent the neglect of the people. Both candidates are calling on residents to stop playing the blame game while continuing to contribute to the inefficiencies of successive governments. If real change and prog progress is to be realized, they're encouraging Bahamians to support the DNA. A guest on the ZNS talk show immediate response hosted by Christina Thompson, Mr. Butler spoke out against the buying and selling of votes. As a politician, you ask him for three hundred dollars. More than likely, you don't have three hundred dollars to give twenty-six hundred people. Not that twenty-six hundred people is asking, but I say think about this: when the politician get that three hundred dollars from whomever to give to you, who need that? What does he just create? You got a crooked politician, and you got a crooked water. I say crooked water because you're willing to sell your vote. And I said, if you could buy it and they could buy it from you, then what's he going to do? He's going to be somebody that goes to Parliament. Somebody will buy him too. Now, at the end of the day, you get six cents a day. And uh, the same people you complain about continue to do the things and be a part of it. You have to take responsibility. Meantime, Forbes Ferguson says the cost of living is too high, and it's a problem he feels is being driven by high energy costs. His solution, the implementation of biomass. Biomass simply means that they grow a product to generate, to feed the, the, the motors that, that, that produce electricity. And because of, of, of doing that, it's what you call green electricity. They don't have to depend on fossil fuel. The, the gentleman told me in Spain, there are competitors who was depending on diesel fuel. They were producing one kilowatt hour at 27 cents. Because of the, 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 the type of electricity, electrification that they are doing, they were producing that same kilowatt hour at 4 cents. So if we really look to the future to cause the cost of living to drop, we would need to go in some direction in that way.